Hello everyone and welcome to the Kyle Davis vlog number 12. Big we, one too. We are one night removed from the first weekly or bi-weekly uh, two a month format of MPX Wrestling and last night this man right beside me, not this man, but this man, girl. he faced William and Aaron Sebastian Patterson. You all may know him as Wasp. How was that first time in there with Wasp? Uh, very interesting. He hits really hard. I got knocked loopy uh, quite a few times, but don't you worry. I I gave it right back to him. Uh, it was a fun match though. I had never worked him before, so very interesting. And it went a lot better than you know I anticipated. Good. See, see this man right here. He's been around a while. Not a, not a veteran. He's not like he doesn't claim to be a veteran like Christopher Hayden, an old grizzled grizzled vet who's been around forever. But this man here has faced a bunch of guys. So at this stage in your wrestling uh, career, I know Corman. If it's not you know if you're not making money, it's not a career. But whatever. But if uh if this man hasn't faced anyone yet, it's pretty rare. So it's nice to be in there with someone you haven't faced yet. Absolutely. That's uh. So that's our official opening. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit more sanity than we did last uh, last night. Uh, Gigolo is a riot to uh, to tell stories with, as you as you saw. But instead, we're gonna have our guest host, Mr. Boo. It's he a, is it's a girl. He is making his first appearance on the Kyle Davis vlog. Hopefully, the first of many. Now he's no Walter Bussey, but he'll have to do for now. It's a girl. Now we're gonna. And he's very cute. Uh, we're going to open up with a few stories. Uh, the first one, uh, Smack and... Uh, see, Smack, you finally get a mention, so you can finally watch the damn things. Uh, in Macho Mike, uh, we're familiar with the story of Duster Dix. Uh, go ahead and uh, take that away. I really don't know much about this story, so that's I'm glad we have a guest host here. Okay. Duster Dix. So we were, we were out in Marshall, and we were wrestling, and there's a wrestler out there named Doc Holliday. Uh, scrawny dude with a cowboy hat with the name Doc Holiday, I'm sure you can guess the gimmick. Um, anyway, one night, I think Macho Mike and I had wrestled or something like that, and Macho Mike was changing. And um, Macho Mike is, uh, we, we, have a, we have a history of always talking about his jump, his bulge, if you will. Um, and on this night, Macho Mike was changing in the dressing room after our match. And myself and Murdoch couldn't help but notice that Doc Holliday was just burning a hole in this dude's crotch, visually. <laughs> he was eyeballing that dong, and it was so it was so funny because Mike got so creeped out. If you know, and if you know Mike, you know he's he's not one of those guys who's who's shy or anything like that, especially about you know homosexual stuff like you know he's not gay but I mean he you know you know how it goes but um so after that me Frankie everybody who was in on the Marshall crowd in that time uh you know we we uh we 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 gave him this this moniker of uh the tag team of Doc Holliday and Macho Mike as the Duster Dicks uh and every time Every time we saw each other after that, it was, you know, going on about Doc Holliday's theme music, which was uh, Click Click Boom by Saliva. Perfect music for uh, a cowboy gimmick. No, I guess not. Um, but, yeah, we, we made fun of him. You can ask Frankie about the, the Click Click Boom over-exaggerations and the, the, uh, the road cell phone interviews and stuff like that, but... This dude just burning a hole in Mike's crotch was just a, a topic to be discussed uh, for years to come. So. Also, uh, now that you mentioned Mike, Mike, we didn't talk about this in our production meeting before this uh, this taping here. Uh, Club Vandersex was one of my favorite uh, short-lived uh, things that we did in, in Graham in TTW. Uh, 2007, 2008, somewhere in there for just two or three shows. Uh uh, but who who sang the theme song? Uh, oh man, I don't you touched my tra la la, my ding ding dong. <laughs> I, it was a Luther song. Luther something. If, if, it DJ Luther? It was it was it was great. It, I had a lot of fun uh, van managing Club Vandersex for those two shows, and they actually came back at MPX for one show. 
uh, a storyline that picked up like three years and 300 miles later. Very true. And, that, and, that, and I'm glad that we finally got Club Vandersex versus the Hunks for Hire uh, at MPX randomly. The fans didn't understand it, but there was really nothing to understand. It was just it was fun to finally tie that up for, for us. Uh, what what else did we have? We had Duster Dicks. Uh, uh, hot chocolate story. The hot chocolate. Uh, this man right here actually sent me to the hospital in January of 07 uh, because he, he didn't protect me when I was rolling out of the ring. That's a bold thing. Uh, I had taken the uh, dropout from Aaron Eagle at the Civic Center show and uh, and I was rolling out of the ring and uh, he uh, didn't care for my safety or anything and he uh, he drug me out of the ring and I landed head first uh, onto the concrete, uh, the marble floor and I thought I had busted my head open but uh, actually I just had a, a separated shoulder very badly. Now to set the stage for this whole day we were originally supposed to ride with Smack, and he was going to face Doc Holliday that night. He decided he didn't want to go. It was too icy, sleet, or whatever. So just by chance, uh, Laura was in town randomly in Dallas, and so she uh, picked me up, and, 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 and he was with me, and uh, Frankie. And we were going 90 the whole way down 20, and we were late to the Civic Center show. Yeah, Icy Road. It was, it was bad. And I, I, that was the only change of clothes I had. I didn't bring a bag. I was in my suit that night. And so after, uh, after I got hurt, I had ice on my shoulder. I was all trying to wiggle it back into place. Uh, anyway, the next week, I was in a sling. And uh, we, we stopped at the Love's gas station uh, in Van, right off I-20. And I had a uh, hot chocolate, ding-dongs, you know, you know a, a healthy snack for the road. And, uh, and I set the hot chocolate on the roof because uh, I, was, I was messing with my stuff because I only had one hand. Smack was driving. Macho Mike was in the passenger seat. Frankie was in the back right seat. Uh, Talek was going to be in the middle. So I put my, uh, I put my drink in the, pass in, the, in the middle back seat. And uh, I, I look back. I, he's he's going to see it, so he won't sit on it or whatever. I go back up to the roof to do something. I look back in. I see him getting in, followed by a loud squeal, uh, followed by uh, steam coming out of his ass crack. Uh, luckily, it was raining outside in January, so he proceeded to run around the parking lot with his ass hanging out uh, to soothe the burning sensation of my hot chocolate. It was awful. And that's that's... Pretty accurate from start to finish. I mean, he, the, he wasn't. What was, what was ironic was the cup was not damaged the, whatsoever. The cup was I fine. I completely sat on the, the son of a bitch, and it burnt my asshole, and the cup was completely intact. I don't know how it happened. That's when I used out of the sipper thing. One of my favorite stories. I offered you some ding dongs, but you were in heaven. Fuck you, Andrew <laughs> Ding Dong. That was ridiculous. That was a fun story. All right, we have a few minutes left. Uh, any any quick stories? Um. Um, as you as you saw last time in our vlog, we covered uh, we covered Dalton and uh, and some of his stories, which are all true. I gave you your own vlog, Dalton. Uh, Chance has been uh, bitching and complaining that we're not mentioning him, but I'm only in 2005 in my my individual blog. You're not going to be coming up until like two years later. No. Uh, do you have a Chance story? Just to uh, shut him up. I don't. No. I can't think of... Yeah, see? He can, he can wait. I can't think of anything. Sorry. Wait. I mentioned you, he though. He can wait, Chance. I mentioned you. But keep watching, because I might throw you in there every now and then. Just keep watching. Maybe if your ass traveled a little bit and you came down here to see us, you could be a co-host on the blog and then say your own damn piece. That's all that's you got to do. But no, you, don't, you, you like to stay where you're at and, and not come down and see your buddies, you know, Lewis Enterprises and stuff like that. It could easily be put back together. But, you know, hey, whatever. Easily be put. You know what? I think next time at the next MPX show, Scott Murdoch will be a guest host. On the vlog. I will have Scott Murdoch on. Uh, that'll be in two weeks or so. So we got a lot of vlogs in between now and then. Probably episode 25 at this rate. And Mr. Boo here is all in it's my face. Girl. It's a girl. He's, he's all in my face here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we have really accomplished nothing these past three or four vlogs. But they have been fun. Hopefully entertaining for you. And uh, next time I will... Uh, pick up where I left off in 2005 uh, going into 2006 and I will tell the story of how I I single-handedly got Charlie Haas to come to PCW I know no one wants to admit it but I proved a lot of people wrong that night next time I bring Charlie Haas to PCW and ironically it was the day before Eddie Guerrero died are they related?
you got to stay tuned and find out. Thank you very much. Enjoy your feedback, and I'll see you next time.